I'm Ashanti Ford and I am in Lake Placid. What you see beside me here are 10 foot okra plants, compliments of Mr. Calvin's garden. Now he tells me he's been gardening with his hands in the soil for over 70 years. And now he's educating us on the importance of giving back to your community. I'm going in with trying. Very good. It is very good. Yeah, it is. I told you, it's, and it's good for you. 81-year-old Calvin Bryant was born in 1939 on a small farm just west of Valdosta, Georgia. He now lives in Lake Placid, Florida, a small town located about 130 miles from both Tampa and Orlando. Didn't get a chance to go to school like they do now because when I grew up, you know, 80 some years ago, uh, wasn't important for black to go to school. They were supposed to work on the farm and so forth, and that's just where it was. He says he learned his greatest lessons on the backs of hardworking farmers. Teach your survival skills. And uh, if we go back to those days, I mean, at least get some of that back into our blood again, we'd be better off because you become what which we were independent to some degree. But now we've lost a lot of that dependency, and now we depend on, which is bad, and own controls you. These principles are lessons he shares with the community while he gives away roughly half of the turnips, collard greens, okra, tomatoes, and broccoli that he grows on these two acres of land. And they just about getting ready where they're starting to start heading up. Some of it I sell and some of it I give away. Uh, if people come along, they don't have no money. It's no big deal. I just give it to them. Bryant told me this entire crop of mustard grains was grown on seeds that cost him $1.89. It may not seem like a whole lot, but it is a lot because it feeds thousands of people. That little garden out there, you'd be surprised. I mean, people that thing will feed. Y'all can go out in the garden right now and give you a whole bunch of greens, and you can look at them and you can't even tell where they come from. Because God always supply them. He just keep bringing the leaf, putting the leaf back on. I give them away and put some more on. As more and more people are relying on the convenience of supermarkets, Bryant told me the reason he gives away so much of his produce is to inspire the community to become their own producers and not just consumers. And that's one of the things that I see in, in, in my uh, people. We, we don't produce anything. And, we, and when we don't produce, we become dependent. And we got to get back to where we start producing something. I don't care what it is. Get a bunch of chicken, produce eggs or something. You can always, you know, do something. Bryant went back to Georgia and purchased the farm he grew up on, along with other land. He grows his own food there, too. He hopes the hundreds of families he's touched over the years will follow suit and build and depend on their own food systems. If we can get back to that way that we have pride within the little stuff that we have, and not look at all the great, just be happy with the little stuff you have and be independent and raise your children to help take pride in that. I think that's what makes this world gonna be a better place to live. Ashanti Ford with Atlanta Black Star.